Every so often, you get these really great invites to private areas along our coastline. And that was the case this day, where Valdo invited me to fish a piece of coastline only accessible through private land. I've heard amazing stories of this area, and unfortunately, <laughs> the sea and the weather didn't quite play along, but it wasn't gonna stop us. With a sudden cold front and crystal clear water with minimal working water, we were still prepared to take up the challenge. I personally kicked off the morning early with some armadillos to find one of those pristine fighters, the white muscle cracker. Valdo quickly got stuck into some blacktail, or dusty as they referred to them in certain areas. Hey guys and girls, and as you saw there, uh Valdo already into some fish. We just started. We're having our first. I had my first cast. I'm just going to rebait. I'm trying for a small muscle cracker early morning. We are exactly between there and there um, on the east, eastern Cape Coast. A lovely, lovely area. Very remote and very special place to fish in. Apparently, Fano hasn't even fished here. <laughs> but yeah, um, Valdo uh, invited me, and there's no way I can say no to this. And uh, we're hoping that the sea plays along. It's gotten really flat. We had some really nice rough seas. So the main target species today is Khalyun, Cracker, whatever other edibles we uh, come across. And uh, we're fishing a little spot here and we'll obviously try different areas. But excited to be here and really privileged to be here. Now Valdo Klein fishes with me in Cape St. Francis and we regularly share spots when we fish in comps. This area in particular he knows very well. The area consists of rocky outcrops, fishing onto sand with broken reef or small stretches of beach. Really really nice area and full of sea life. This area lends itself to spots all over that you want to put a bait in. Every 20 or 50 meters apart the water looks good for a fish. been very slow just those little black tail on the previous spot since we've been here nothing much but the sea is very calm so we're hoping with a push just to, uh, to create a bit of a still you can see I'm literally fishing in this little hole here purely because there's a bit of working water you want that and uh, we're hoping for it to lift a bit with the tide pushing up The next spot we fished was one of these small stretches of beach, with the water being so clear and calm, the bites weren't in abundance. We welcome the zebra, also a real worthy fighter on this tackle. Eventually we found ourselves 
fishing for little foamy patches the size of a car, where accuracy did play a role. And all of this to get that bite. We welcomed the first two zebras with the tide moving in. That broke the silence. Another good uh, zebra. Directly translated our local seahorses. Look at those beautiful colors. You know? Absolutely stunning fish. The only little spot with a bit of working water was on the left of the bay. And look who finally came to visit. Even though he's not big, he really packs a punch. Finally, this, yes, they were playing with our bait there. And I found, finally got this little boy on. Oh, what a pretty little, little machine. And then it happened. The galleon, the dumba, the Yun, the main target species for the day, grabbed my bait. Okay, target species, guys. And uh, a nice one at that. A really good size khali. Not gonna complain about that one what we came for and this is what I call Mario red bait properly matured okay exactly 39 And the ever-present blacktail followed soon after, weighing in at 33 centimeters. Now all these species are great fun on the tackle we use, which is in the four five ounce claws. All right, I'm just using a big armadillo, and I'm going to put a little bit of uh, red bait on the front. See if we can lure in one of those uh, packers to get my support. Moving to the next spot, Valdo was quick onto a nice little mussel cracker, or brusher as they are known in Natal. Yeah. After a few blacktail, Baldur soon followed with the target species, another Hulyun. Oh, 
Ja, alles ist sehr gut. Now after this spot produced several blacktail, the Hullion and the little muscle cracker, we moved to another spot. And on the first cast, Voldu was into another cracker. Now remember this young man, because he'll soon be entering the MMA arena and become one of the main challenges we find in our waters. These amazing fish are built to shake those big heads and put up that ferocious fight. We soon moved to another popular spot where Voldu explained that there's a ledge at about 80 to 100 meters and if you get over that ledge, every bait's a bite. And he proved his theory on the first cast. Now Valdo was also very successful in getting proper hookups, producing some nice hollyun. Okay, now that was really an awesome day. Some really nice hollyun that came out. Valdo um, uh, made short work of that now. He got two, well he got another black tail now, but he got three nice uh, Hollyun today. I got that 39, all about 37, 38. Uh, so it's all really nice stuff, all of them. And uh, still got a rod out here, broke that one off, so I'm not going to retire. We're at the end of the day. As the sun disappeared, it started getting cold. But guys, thank you so much for watching. And remember to like the video, remember to subscribe to the channel, and we'll do our at most to try and bring you the best we can with regards to fishing on our coastline. Thanks for watching. Now after such a nice memorable day, there's only one way to conclude it all and that's like this.